Some might call it artwork, while others are calling it an eyesore. Singer and performer Chris Brown has upset many neighbors over what they're calling monster graffiti at his Hollywood Hills home. Dozens of neighbors are outraged over what they claim is his latest attempt to upset his neighbors. Negri says since Brown moved into the stunning four-story Hollywood Hills home, he throws loud parties, speeds through the neighborhood, and now paints a mural on his walls. LA City Councilman Tom LaBonge says it's against the city's ordinance for unpermitted and excessive signage. So now Brown's being cited. All right. I mean, there's really not much else to say about that story. Uh, Dave, it seems like Chris Brown just loves to go around making friends with everyone. That's like his specialty. But what do you think? Do you, can you consider that artwork? I want to be very, very clear about this. Chris Brown is the worst human being on earth today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not Bashar al-Assad, not Kim Jong. He is just... Does he need any more bad PR? Like, what is he possibly? These people in the hills, they don't want regular people just even walking by their houses, much less painting goblins and Pac-Man ghosts yeah. on their, he's just awful. Like, he really, like, how, what could he do? What could he do that would be? I, I don't even want to think what he could do to make, <laughs> let's, let's not give him any ideas. I mean, I think he's got the taste of a 12-year-old, which probably goes along with apparently his emotional maturity yeah, exactly. of a 12-year-old. So yeah. I'm not surprised that he thought that this was a great idea. And if he is doing that, to annoy his neighbors. You know, you gotta wonder about somebody who does that. You know, who does that? Yeah, I know. I, I Look, I totally agree that he's a bad guy. There's no question about that. But at the same time, I mean, don't you kind of want to support the artwork on his house? Like, I feel like- Does I, he have like, another side on that wall? How about do it on that side? Okay, Is it a two-sided wall? Enough. I just, by the way, he's gonna get cited for that. Yeah. Um, and the city has already contacted him and said, look, you gotta get rid of that because there are really strict rules when it comes to what color you can paint your house, whether or not you mow your lawn, all of that. But those kinds of laws kind of get under my skin. And I know that they have it because they want to make sure that property values stay up. If you have shitty looking houses in the neighborhood, then your property value is gonna go down. But at the same time, like, how do you define what's beautiful and what's ugly, right? That's not attractive to me, and I guess most people don't think it's attractive, but maybe that's something that's very attractive to him, and that's what he wants on his house. Well, I think that's why they have the city ordinance, because yeah. then it's not supposed to be reliant upon any one person's definition of art. You can say, look, we're just not yeah. going to have murals in the city. No murals on private property. That is the ordinance in Los Angeles. And there, it, it's partly to, to prevent uh, tagging, you know, because there's yeah. a big problem with graffiti in L.A., and it's not cost a lot of money. Hills, though. Not <laughs> in Hollywood Hills, though. Not in Hollywood Hills, but, there is, yeah. you know, I can see what, you know, they're, they're trying yeah. to make it so that everybody gets the same, gets applied, gets the law applied to them in the same way. Yeah. So I can understand understand that as well you know if it's I think they're going a little bit overboard obviously you know this is not the worst thing in the world yeah so Max uh, do you think that this is an example of celebrity entitlement <laughs> kind of I mean you know he's not exactly being subtle with his uh, his <laughs> affection for um, for street art you know I think that I definitely would qualify it as art. I mean, they're, they're cool drawings, but I think, you know, it's, it's upsetting the neighborhood. He's got to be mindful of that. Right. Um, he probably throws parties all the time. I think they said that, like, I, you know, I've never been to one of them, so <laughs> I, I don't know. But, um, you know, they were saying that it's upsetting the children of the neighborhood. They're freaked out. They're having nightmares about the drawings because they have huge fangs. And, you know, I think that that's worth taking into account. Like, if he has, like, any sense of empathy in him, which, you know, it's mm -hmm. doubtful that he does, but yeah, I mean, just take it, take it down. How much more money and press does this guy need? Right. I think that's what this is really, it's about the yeah. never ending hole that is his soul. That's yeah. what's going on here. It's just this well of nothingness. So he just has to keep acting out in these crazy bonkers, ways. Normal people do not do these things. But think about this. Like, I always wonder if it's just because he was born an asshole or if it's because <laughs> yeah. society made him an asshole, right? Because he did something horrendous, okay? He beat up Rihanna. I mean, I remember those pictures like I saw them yesterday, right? Yeah. With the bumps on her head. It was ho horrible, right? But he didn't really suffer any real consequences for it. I mean, she went back to him. Um, there were people defending what he did. They're like, well, Rihanna was a bitch, so that's uh -huh. why. It, I mean, it was incredible. When yeah. that story played out the way it did, I couldn't believe it. And at the same time, I'm sure he's in his own little celebrity bubble where he's told he's talented. He makes a ton of money. He has songs where he's like making fun of people who are crying from outside of the club because they can't even get in. Like, that's like, that's, that's, his, that's his whole thing. He's constantly being rewarded. So can you blame him for acting out the way that he is? He does get a lot of attention for he it. He does. He's making paper. 
You know, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm referencing that lyrics. Money, I think. <laughs> I'm referencing, <laughs> I'm referencing lyrics, and everyone's like, "What?" Is she talking about? what? <laughs> I just think he's an idiot. You know, he could have all the money in the world, but he can't buy class. Yes, I love that. Um, you know. There was a Real Housewife I, of New York who had a song called "Money Can't Buy You Class," and I just really? remember that. Yeah, what? money can't buy you class. <laughs> and it is so true. And there's nothing classier than a Real Housewife, so you know. Totally, totally. And, you know, it's an important learning moment for everybody. Absolutely. Now, just to be 100% clear before we leave this topic, I am playing devil's advocate uh, with this story. I think he is horrible, and he should respect his neighbors. You're living in this area. Uh, people are expecting peace and quiet, you know, keep it down with the parties. But I'm willing to defend him a little bit when it comes to artwork. 